everyone, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily, Monday Motivation. Daz here, who's ready to give it a real good go this week. And why not? Do you know, to me, it's the first week of Christmas. I'll come back to the reasons I believe that a little bit later. Um, but really starting to feel the spirit, you know, really al allow myself to feel it at this time of year. But like I said, I'll come back to that shortly. What I will say, I've had a fantastic weekend. You know, after all the indifferences recently and the ups and downs and not being able to do certain things, we're just in. Finding positives in the rearranged plans, you know, the weekend was just, just went along real, real, sort of, with, with lots of calmness and ease. And that's all I was looking for. I had a night planned away after the football, which I went to the football. I was going to get up Saturday morning and go to park. Weren't always the best start to the weekend. You know, a great way of getting ourselves into the sort of right mindset to attack everything we've got to do. I always talk about never missing a Monday. Again, on a Saturday, park was the, the perfect way to start it. But because the snow dropped, whilst I was away, you know, we actually got a whole morning in bed, which was fantastic, you know, just to lie there, watch TV, have a cup of coffee, you know, do all all the things that you can't always do when you're at home, you know, you, you end up buzzing around and doing jobs that need doing. But as we was away, as it was snowing, as there was no part one, it gave us a perfect opportunity to, to take a real nice lie-in, you know, in, in comfortable surroundings and make the absolute most of it. When we come home, we didn't do much more either. We got home around lunchtime, you know, back in the onesie and just enjoyed the fact it was a snow day. It's like a snow soaked duvet day and they're okay sometimes, aren't they? Like I said, I was planning on much more than that, but enjoyed meeting some friends at the football, enjoyed that part of it. And then yesterday, took part in the Clown Half Marathon. Again, not the way I want to. My arm is really, really hurting at the moment. It's re really, really struggling with it. You know, I'm gonna do any exerted physical activity. You know, it, it, the vibrations are causing so much trouble. So I took it easy. Possibly the slowest half marathon I've ever done in my life. But that don't matter, does it? I still did it, still enjoyed it. You know, lots of people around me, lots of friends. It was one I'd introduced friends to, something I'd done myself. Uh, three, three times before I'd introduced friends to it this year the running club guys you know ask, asking them if they want to come along and they all got something from it so whilst I didn't sort of get the same level of achievements out of it myself in terms of my performance you know seeing them do well first of all but really enjoy the day and being together that was brilliant too and that's really important right now isn't it there's lots in the news at the moment about what potentially is going to happen with COVID and things. And I'm not going to dwell on that because I never have, to be honest. Um, some of it's frustrating, some of it's worrying, you know, and, and especially at this time of year. But like I said, I'm allowing myself to get into Christmas spirit, so I'm not going to let it put a damper on it. Part of the reason I do allow myself in the first week of December is because when I do finish Clown Half Marathon, which was yesterday, um, I always see that as the end of the racing season. So whilst I'm not an athlete, I'm not someone who, who competes at a, a particularly good level, you know, I, I like to think that I put a lot of work in throughout the year. And it's okay to look forward to things. I always say that, don't I? Allow yourself. Some people will, might say, well, you've been sort of saying it's too early for Christmas and that, but I always put this time on it. I think if we start, for me personally after clown which is almost the start of december you know we don't go over the top of it do we if you know what i mean we don't make it something less than what it actually is it is a time to really enjoy ourselves so i'm going to be really really positive about it this week i'm going to be positive about it over the next few weeks look forward to the things i can do again there's bloody restrictions stopping me but i'm going to look forward to all the things i can do and that starts really by sort of sticking to the Monday routine. And that's what I want to talk about today. Over the last sort of 18 months, I've developed this routine that when I'm in a good place, I know what to do. And the reason I want to talk about it is because we don't always get up in the best frame of mind. 
on a Monday, especially a cold Monday morning when it's minus five or whatever it was this morning, it's not always easy to jump out of bed and set about things. As much as we know it works, as much as it, it helps us in what we do, do you know, it's not always the easiest thing to do. And I'll admit that, do you know, I'm, I'm always talking about how much I struggle to get out of bed and because of struggling with sleep and things like that. But what I want to say, like I say, it's about sticking to those routines and making it happen to the as much as you can, particularly if you're not feeling great. Me personally, you know, today I'm I'm feeling the repercussions, the achiness, the soreness on my arm. You know, I've I've got a bit of a cold anyway. You know, so it'd be easy again just to sort of dwell on that. You know, not sort of enjoy what happened at the weekend, not look forward to what's happening this week. Just. Just kind of get stuck in the moment of feeling uncomfortable and a bit run down but like i say there's lots to be positive about all that stuff i said about the weekend christmas is starting clowns finished incidentally on the way to the the football and where i was going on the, at the weekend I had a couple of christmas songs back to back and that was like oh wow it's this weekend it's the first time i did those on the radio um, so that was that was something that sort of made me think, well, it's that time of year, it's clown, it's this, you know, and, it, and I can almost look back on what I have done this year. I've not done the things I wanted to do, but I can look back on the things I have done and go, well, this is where I'd always, always kind of say, this is it in terms of racing. I like to run every day in December. I'm still going to give that a little bit of a go if I can, you know, I like to sort of finish in the mindset that I'm still going whilst I finish the racing and the real training if it doesn't happen for what we, one reason or another in December that's absolutely okay but what what my point was about sticking to routine is is almost remembering what works for us when when things are good I've mentioned there that things have been indifferent things have been a bit frustrating you know but what I had to remember today when I was kind of lost in the moment was you know get up and get out, get some activity in, never miss a Monday. That's so important. One thing I have done in the last 18 months, it, like I say, when I've been feeling good, is get out there on a Monday afternoon, whether I'm working or not, you know, get out there on a Monday afternoon, get a good walk in, you know, collect my thoughts, listen and learn one or two new things through the things I do. You know, and it puts me in such a better frame of mind. It puts me so much more at ease. And all those frustrations I had this morning, like say the aches and pains and the, the cold and things like that, quickly sort of disappeared. I've still got them. They didn't disappear completely. Um, but but the stress and the, the anxiety around them quickly disappeared. I knew I'd got out, I walked 5K. It was absolutely freezing cold. But again, it made me feel like I've done something worthwhile and I come back, I've listened to a few things, my head's in, in shape, you know, I feel like I can express the way I feel and explain why it's so important. But without that routine, it'd have been really difficult today. It'd have been a tough day, you know, almost like, a, like after the Lord May show kind of thing, that nice weekend, you know, signing off for the year and then almost like, oh God, what do we do now? But I'm not feeling like that because I did all the things I did you know, because I like, I'm allowing myself to get into the Christmas spirit, not too soon, I'll add again, um, and, and start looking forward and planning that, you know, and looking forward to the week ahead. It's gonna, it's gonna sort of do me well. And, and I can go into tomorrow as positive as I am now, you know, looking forward to trying to take part again if I can. If not, you know, just, just be around all the people, Tuesday training, you know, I always encourage people to get involved in what we're doing through the Do Running Group. Check out all the social media at the end of the video. You know, just with the hope of building that positivity throughout the week. The reason we do that on a Tuesday, following on from Never Miss a Monday, is because Tuesday is a bit of a funny day, isn't it? It's a bit of a, a nondescript day in the grand scheme of things. Monday is that one where you go back to everything. Friday can be the one where you're looking forward to the weekend and then course the weekend Wednesday's hump day you know Tuesday's just a bit of a strange one so it's about trying to get everyone together sort of almost rally the troops and, and really give it a good go and that's all I'm looking to do like I say by sticking to my routine on a Monday and my point is with all that if you are struggling just resort to what you know works for you you know 
I never get up now on a Monday. Like, I've not felt great this morning, as I've said already, but I never get up and feel like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, you know? I, because I'm always sort of looking forward to what's next, you know? Thinking about what I've done, looking forward to what's next. But it's important to, to realise what works for you. If it's getting up early, getting out for a short walk, if it's going at lunchtime, if it's something, if it's an errand you run for somebody, you know, that makes you feel great. Whatever works for you, particularly when you're not feeling it, definitely not when you're feeling it, you know. That's the time when we have to dig deep and, and realise what works for us. And all I'm encouraging this week, I'm not preaching at anyone, I'm not trying to be too clever with what I'm saying, is just, just remember what works for you. Again, it's been a day of that for me. With all the trickiness, with all the uncertainty around what's kind of happening with my arm and things like that, it's just a case of doing what I can. Thankfully, I've got the ability to function on my legs. I've been out there, done my activity, done some exercise, like I say, five miles in the cold, feels epic, feels like I've picked up one or two bits as well from the things I've listened to, so it feels like a, a, a semi-rewarding day, do you know? I've I'm taking something from it, and that's all we have to do, isn't it? The one thing about activity, of course, it's a, one of the big things I encourage, it's not all about that, but the one thing about activity, means you can tick the day off at least doing one thing positive and that's definitely been the case for me today and that's all i've got to say today guys please like share and subscribe the video let me know what you've been up to how you're looking forward to the week what's your routine i'd love to hear it before we crack on with the tuesday training and then everything after that if you've liked the video please subscribe i'm trying to get them numbers up the weeks are running out now whilst it is christmas all these targets have been set have really kicked in you know check into the thursday thoughts to see what the viewers set me ticking along with those i'm going to give them all a good go some of them are going better than others that rained off at uh, snowed off park run didn't help at the weekend but again that lying definitely did help so until tomorrow guys have a great evening have a great week just doing it